Welcome back, everybody, to Serene Queen TV. I'm your host, T. Please like, share, and subscribe, and let's talk in the comments. Today, I'm going to talk about Lotto. <laughs> I know, right? I'm back talking about Miss Piggy. Scratch off. Lottery ticket. Side piece. I don't know. Whatever you want to call her. But I'm back. Um, You know, again, I did a video about Lotto before. And I said that Ice Spice was coming to replace her. And I've, I've been continuing to be proven correct. Um, You know, Ice Spice is dog walking Lotto, career-wise. And Coyle Ray is, too. But Lotto is doing a lot of self um, de demolition, <laughs> a lot of self-sabotage, like it's, it's her working against her. So I was watching mob radio the other day. Shout out to mob. I like Millie. She's so much fun. Um, just, I like her show, but she was just covering like lotto cooking for 21 average. I like to call them 21 chromosomes, but, um, you know, 20, let's see, I like, I, you know, like, I would be a little bit nicer and I'll call them 21 average. Um, and it's just like Lotto, you know. When I was watching that TikTok, I said to myself, this motherfucker is trying to replace Barefoot Contessa. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> that's who you're going to replace. You're not going to replace... Anybody in your rap lotto, you're going to replace Barefoot Contessa on Food Network because you, you're, I can't, you are not to be taken serious. Like I cannot take you serious and I refuse to. And, um, you don't take you serious. 21 average doesn't take you serious and nobody else does either except some of the other, you know, sorry ass bitches like you, but other than that, like nobody really like takes you serious. And like, how, how can we, um, I'm glad that you did acknowledge yourself as a white woman because you are a white woman. You know what I mean? Like you are, um, but, and, and that's another thing. Like we're letting you say the N word and you are a Karen, but Lotto, you have no one else to blame for your rap career being where it is but you. And I don't understand you because, you know, before a lot of the bad press about you, I really did see it for you. Like, I don't think you make bad music. I think you make pretty decent music. And it's to be honest with y'all, I'm not going to lie on Lotto. Um, I like Lotto's music better than Megan Thee Stallion's. I do. Because Megan's music is just too sexual. And Lotto's is too. But I just prefer, I think I like Lotto a little bit, her music a little bit better than, than Megan. And like some, and I think Megan is a good rapper. I'm not gonna, I'm, again, I'm, I've never lied and said I thought Megan was trash. Like Megan is a good rapper. And Lotto is a good rapper too. Like they're, they're pretty decent girls. Straight up. They're not Nikki, <laughs> they're not Mia X, and they're not Kaya. And y'all can talk to it about Kaya, but they're not Kaya. I'm just saying, other people who are really good. But with Lotto, it's just like, Lotto, that's the thing, though. Like, you're pretty good. You just continue to self-sabotage. Like, you came this far to just come this far. And I'm disappointed. Um, because you used to carry yourself very high self-esteem. You used, you used to carry yourself different. Like Lotto wasn't always, she didn't always come off like she is now. Like before she signed that record deal, Lotto came off like, like very, it was rare to find an artist who really knew their value. It was rare to find an artist who really was focused on the business and making money and who really wasn't obsessed with mainstream and who was like, no, I'm going to wait for the right deal. You're going to really have to show me something I've never seen before to get me to sign a deal. And I really like that about her. 
Because there's a lot of artists out there who are just so thirsty to sign. And then they end up shelved, um, you know, and then or complaining about the industry um, for being shelved or complaining about, you know, the Doja Cat bullshit, complaining about success, complaining about control, blah, blah, blah. Like all the fucking bullshit we've, we've been hearing since the fucking 90s. Um, so, like, it was rare to find an artist like Lotto. But it's like ever since she signed, you know, she really, really has like mentally like gone commercial and like not in a good way. That's the thing. It's like you have people who sign deals like Travis Scott and they go commercial, you know, people like The Weeknd who sign deals, they go commercial, you know, their music changes a little bit, their image changes a little bit. They get into a few PR relationships, you know, they do some high profile things or whatever to go along and get along so they can push their music. Um, and they end up as like very, very big stars. Like Beyonce is another one of them, like who has played the industry game after going commercial to become a very big star. So I'm not against anybody like Nicki Minaj did that again, like went pop, went commercial, you know what I mean? Like commercial Nikki is not mixtape Nikki and that's fine that's why we don't need to call her Nikki Minaj anymore we just call her Nikki because we we know who you're talking about because she's just that big um so I'm just giving examples and I'm trying to play devil's advocate or just trying to give an argument for Lotto that I don't shame her for signing a big record deal. Like, what the fuck else are you doing it for? To be average your whole life? Like, if you really want to go big, you know, yeah, you go mainstream. But I just really think she's sabotaging herself with this 21 average situation, pretty much. That's what's leading to her demise. And that's what I'm saying when I say, why did you come this far to just come this far? So, okay, let me get into a list of things that are sabotaging her. Um, number one, self-sabotage with 21 average. Number two, self-sabotage with beefing with Nikki. That was unnecessary. Number three, self-sabotage with not writing your own music. Those are the big um, three things that are like really self-sabotaging her. And you know what? I'm going to add a fourth. But it's really, it's, it's fourth because it's really not that big. Self-sabotage through poorly planned and orchestrated um executed PR stunts like you know I don't know if I want to I guess I could say yes poorly planned poorly orchestrated and executed PR stunts because it's like it was orchestrated and planned are kind of like the same thing they're synonymous but then like so you plan it but then like you or you come up with it but then like when you execute it it's a bad plan so it executes poorly you know what I mean so um you like that bullshit with Koi Ray and like the bullshit she pulled at Coachella, that was, like, not necessary. That was, like, super weird. So, um, like, because I just, again, I just think for artists, like, if you're an artist, wouldn't you want to follow, like, the biggest person in the industry or the biggest people in the industry? And the biggest people in the industry keep people out their personal lives as much as possible. They try to make their career all about their music. So with Lotto, it's just like, I don't know why you thought it was smart or think that it's smart to like get involved in too many PR games and beefs and stunts because it overshadows your music, which is the main product that you're selling. And a big part of being an artist is being likable. You know what I mean? Like a big part of being successful in life, period, as a person who is more successful in my professional life than I am as an artist, um, with my day job, like I'm successful at my day job because people like me, like that really helps me a lot. And then I also just happen to come with like real talent and expertise that it's, that sustains past people's petty emotions that could change at any moment about me. 
even when people don't like me, I work. So you can't fire me for not working. Um, that can't be your excuse is that I do a bad job um, or that I don't do my job at all. So what I'm saying is I can pop my shit about how Lotto carries herself with her professional work and her job just happens to be a rapper. So let me get into the first thing. Um, Lotto, why are you continuing to, um, date 21 average? Like, I just don't get it. There are other men. Like, I don't understand why she is still in this. Like, I don't know why she's entertaining it. I just don't get it. Like, I really am confused because it's, it's not a good look. That's my thing. It's like, why are you in a situation that is bringing bad energy towards you? Why are you in a situation that people are sh- I just don't like? Like, here's the thing. Like, artists sometimes, even when they're with somebody and it's like, you know, they're not married and like, that's not why people are like not liking them or not liking the relationship. Like, if people don't like you with somebody... Like, that's a problem. You know what I mean? Like, it causes problems for you. And you're too new and, and like, not established in the music industry, and entertainment industry, period. Like, you haven't, you haven't ventured off into acting. And, you know, you're about to venture off into cooking via this sorry-ass situationship. And it's like, that is just not good, girl. Like, I just don't understand why she, like, is just in the situation with 21 average. Like, I just feel like there, you can't convince me, Lotto. You're light skin, okay? I'm brown, proudly brown. But I know light skinned women, I get a lot of attention, but light skinned women get a lot of attention because whether they're pretty in the face or not, by virtue of them being fair-skinned. Just like, you know, white women, which Lotto looks like, and she really, if she would stop trying to be ghetto, she really could get with a nice white man who could, like, actually maybe put some bands into her career. That's what the motherfucker not realizing, because she's so obsessed with being black and so obsessed with chasing Tyrone that she can't even, like, just live in her white privilege. And another thing is, even if she was just so, you know, um, caught up with being with a Jamal or a Tyrone, why can't you go get another dude? Why can't you? You can't tell me, Lotto. Like, here's the truth. Here's the truth. This, this is how Lotto play herself. Lotto, you sat there and you went out of your way to try to make it seem like 21's, uh, no, 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 Kodak Black and and maybe Lil Wayne were trying to get you to fuck for records when, bitch, you would have been better off fucking them for records. Like, I don't think Lil Wayne tried to fuck you. Like, I don't think he's, you're not his type. I've seen Lil Wayne type. In Lotto, you're not, you're not it. But... Even if Lil Wayne did try to fuck you for a track, you would have been better off doing that because maybe he could have (coughs) did a feature with you. He is a legend. You know what I mean? He's a legend and the nigga is very rich. And he doesn't have a history of abusing um, like women, like physically beating and stuff like that. So I don't know. It's like, I don't know, you know, like what what was up with that? And then I think, I do think the person who did want you to do a couple things for a track was Kodak Black because he actually has been convicted of the R word. And the truth is though, if you were smart, you would have been like, "Mm, well, do you want to be in a PR relationship? You know, like, it would look good for us both. Like, maybe I might do a couple things, like, if we can, like, go public. 
and you could do like a song with me, you know what I mean? Or like, and you, or you could do, you know what I'm saying? You could help me career wise. Like this going to look good for both of us. People going to like us together. Y'all, you could have really, that's what would have really helped your ass. You know, so you want to be ghetto so bad. You want to be hood so bad. You want to rise in your career so bad. Why didn't you just like get with, you could have really fl flipped that situation with Kodak Black. And even if you feel like ill, you know, no, because I get it. Kodak Black is not that attractive. And that's no shade. You know, he used to be decent looking before he got all them tats and got fat. And then he got his hair in that crazy style. When he actually cuts his hair, you know, he actually looks pretty nice. You know, I'm not going to down that black man. But it's like Lotto. Even if you felt like that's not your type or you didn't want to do that, you know what I'm saying? Like, why couldn't you get... You could have just got with another nigga, period. Like, it didn't have to be this situation. But you keep choosing this and you get his name tatted and then you cooking and it's just like, what are you doing? You know, why, what are you doing? I know you for cooking. You, you're supposed to be a rapper and you making cooking videos. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you're becoming an influencer you, you know, you, you are damn near like Ari, you know, Ari Fletcher with the cooking and like, girl, are you, are you trying to be Ari and, um, who the other one? I forgot. <laughs> one of the other girls, um, Jay Nice, I think that's her, Jay Nice. Yeah. Who be cooking? Are you trying to be them? Karuchi making a little cooking channel? Like, girl, like, I thought you were a rapper you need to stop being on TikTok cooking meals for this married man and you need to be making motherfucking hits. And, which, excuse me, which leads me into, what's all this bullshit with you and um, Nicki Minaj? Like, y'all can talk all this shit y'all want. Lotto, you recorded that conversation because you were trying to be malicious and you had an attitude and you have a bad attitude and there was no real reason for you to just go at Nikki. I do think Nikki should not have dragged Lotto into the situation with that Grammy's mess. Like she shouldn't have, you know, that was, I was like, Nikki, what are you doing? Like, again, I can admit when Nikki is wrong. Nikki should not have made that situation about anybody else. And she really shouldn't have complained to begin with. She should have just took her nomination and shut the fuck up. Period. And I'm not going to argue with the barbs about it. But Lotto, you also, like, I don't know why people don't handle things like Beyonce. Just shut the fuck up. And if you want to respond, do it in bars. But y'all need to stay up off of Twitter with the fucking bullshit. Like, and, and Lotto, even if you want to respond again, recording the conversation was lame. Like, you was wrong for that. And you was, you, you again, you calculated, you dirty, and you just moved like a snake. Because you are. You fuck with somebody husband, you in a whole relationship with them, and you up here trying to fucking start industry beefs for clout. Like, it's just giving pathetic. And it's giving that you don't really have any talent, which you don't. Which leads me into point number three. And again, I'm going to sum it up here. Lotto, when all those tracks leaked, that was a very bad look for you. You do not write your own music and you need to start doing so. The music that you're making is, is, is pathetic. Sharing, sharing material with other artists because you don't make your own is insane and pathetic. Like, I could not imagine because I am a published writer and again I do make art I could not imagine sharing my material with other people what the fuck else are you doing this shit for why the fuck else are you an artist like what kills me with these people is it's like you know you can get rich and famous from like doing other things right like, if you want to share art, become a fucking actor. But when you go into, like, fine art and fashion and, like, music, that shit's supposed to be original and, like, individual to you. Especially if you're a solo act. 
you should you should only be sharing music if you're a group act. So like sharing songs as a fucking solo artist is insane. And I just can't imagine doing it. Lotto and Koi and Sweetie and all the other girls who are doing that, you should be ashamed of yourselves, especially as rappers and not singers. This is pathetic and disgusting. And it's why the music industry is like in the toilet, please. It's scraping the bottom of hell. So I'm disgusted with Lotto. I'm disgusted with her carrying on publicly with this married man and showing that she's cooking for him and getting him tatted. It's like, Lotto, what are you doing? Why do you want to have this image? You know it's not benefiting you. You're getting public backlash. Why do you insist? And um, why aren't you writing your own music? Why aren't you just focusing on your music? Like, why do you feel like you have to do PR signs? And you know why you feel that way? Because you know, you know that you're not that talented. Like, you are a good rapper. I think you have good delivery. But the fact that you don't write your own music really just means you're a good reciter. Um, you're better than Cardi B. And you're better than Koi. Um, but... You know, you're not better than Ice Spice. I'm wishing you the best, Lotto. I want you to do better. And, um, you know, hopefully, you know what I do want for you, Lotto? I want you to replace Barefoot Contessa. I do. I want you to, because your food did look good. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to lie on you. It looked good. So with that being said, you know, you and your hood accent, yeah. <laughs> Go, I want you to get a deal with Food Network. Let's talk in the comments.